So tonight we're going to do um, some more Undertale Yellow. Now, before I begin, I have to address some elephant in a room. And uh, yeah, I'm going to pull up myself. And uh, well, let's talk about the Materia thing. So recently, this was brought to my attention about how Materia is doing its bullshit with the claiming again. Um, the CEO had, of Materia, the owner uh, of their little, I'm not even going to call it a company or a fucking publisher. I'm just going to call it what it is, is a fucking front, um, is, is trying to vehemently defend their stance on their, their incessant need to steal from people. Uh, specifically creators. So I went on the record and saying that, and I still stand by this, I went on the record and saying that, like, look, there is an easy solution to this. Get rid of your content ID off of the YouTube. That way, you can respect to Toby's wishes, and there is also <laughs> no problem doing uh, with creators screaming at you because you're a fucking copyright farm. Okay. Um. Oh, that's not really a good, a good uh, uh, copy of that. Here, let's let's grab a new one. All right. So, I I have been waiting for this for four years. Of uh of them of this of materia themselves talking about this issue situation. So for those who don't know, uh, if you're a creator on on YouTube or Twitch. Uh, if you play any fucking Undertale music, like any whatsoever, you get copyright claimed by Materia. Sebastian here, this little fucking leech, uh, owns this uh, little operational front, okay? And uh, the reality is, is that the problem is Toby has went on the record to say, hey, just dispute Materia um, and just, like, you know, make it aware. The problem actually for once is not youtube themselves and their absurdly fucking broken copyright system the problem is, is these guys these guys right here are the fucking problem and people have been saying hey um you should probably just not have the content id on youtube like we get that you are trying to protect uh the music and the rights but this is this is where shit gets a little sticky, okay? In addition, the existence of Undertale covers and sound alikes in Undertale Yellow Centric complicate uh, content ID due to conflicting metadata, ID collisions, and bad matches. So, let me explain something. It had been apparent that uh, Undertale Yellow had uh, bought the licensed rights to modify and use said music. Um, and so they have every legal right to just be like, hey, we're not going to have a content ID, right? But they bought it from Materia. And I, I don't like Materia. I, I feel like it's a copyright farm. It's an abusive one at that. It's about as bad as La Ator and ARPA CS and uh, CPRA or CRP or whatever they fucking decide to change their name on another Tuesday. Right? And, uh, you know, Materia likes to do this trick where it's like, oh, well, you know, uh, it's YouTube's fault. Well, no, actually, it's not YouTube's fault. Toby's went off the record to say it's not YouTube's fault this time. It's all on Materia. And uh, my, my biggest fucking issue is Materia can, can literally fix this issue if they just get rid of the content ID. Problem solved. Guess what? Now everyone, now everyone can just fucking, like you know, stream the content and not have to worry about their money being stolen. Problem is, is I'm going to read this next statement to you because I fucking a future August here. And I figured I'd slap this somewhere in this video. So, or the VOD. Uh, so in the middle of me, like editing, uh, the VOD prior to this, this specific stream, uh, funny enough, <laughs> uh, look who happens to have copyright claimed, uh, enemy approaching in Undertale Yellow, 
this just kind of further cements my idea that they are a copyright like farm because why else would i have fucking 17 different fucking maybe about six or seven i uh, actually i'm gonna say 17 different fucking copyright farms um claiming for one fucking song and then look who happens to be in the middle okay i i don't know why it's so hard to like manage a content id let alone just simply remove it but for materia's sake um apparently it's really fucking hard as a matter of fact i don't know how the fuck you managed to have all these people claim this fucking video or this vod but uh yeah uh, the first one is literally right after the vod and the second one is a shorter version of this bottom one of i'm sorry this up uh, above one and so the reality is is that what i was trying to point out is is that like yeah like materia if you guys aren't really a copyright farm then you should probably manage your content id better or or in the case of what i was saying in this vod remove it entirely but i know you fucking won't because this is your cash cow this right here claiming and abusing creators is your fucking cash cow and then claiming and abusing developers who happen to buy the licenses of your games or your games as ost not your games respectively but toby's games or toby uh, people who are endorsed by toby again it's fucking madness it's absolute fucking madness that this is something that has to happen that this is something that happens um and you know what honestly it's like i said you can't really blame youtube in this situation because YouTube literally has no part in this. Toby has no part in this. This is all materia. But, as I've said before, because even though they claim to not be a copyright farm, why are you being, why are you having a whole fucking army of copyright farms, which I could tell you these are copyright farms because they have CS and the fucking underscore. <laughs> what, why, uh, why why am I being claimed to all hell if you don't if you uh if you're not a fucking copyright farm? I don't know. Just 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 a little bit of a little insight on the creator end of things with these things. Um this is what's going on. Um I'm not pulling smoke out of my ass. So figured I'd show you that and I'll let I'll let my past self continue with her rant. So fucking so fucking stupid um that they even mentioned this because this is where it really comes into play that materia is in fact not a real fucking record uh record uh publisher but it's actually a copyright farm um and it's unfortunate that toby got fucking scammed into working with them contracted wise probably which is why anyone who says that um well he, they've been he's been working with them for eight years he's probably contracted to do so can't agree, I can't really necessarily confirm that because I would know, but it's possible. So, so uh, last even if Toby gave a blanket license permission, which we're still confirming, it is not a waiver of claims or appropriate or appropriate royalties. We think it's appropriate that credit remains in place and royalties are collected in these cases. So here's my problem with this. One. You're a fucking copyright farm when you say shit like this, all right? It would have been smarter if you didn't give this to people to weaponize against you because now you've just kind of proven that you're just a copyright farm and you're going to abuse it no matter what. This is materials out of saying, hey, um, we're going to abuse the fuck out of this. Fuck you and your money. And as a content creator myself who has seen materia abuse the shit out of the content id the broken content id system and not doing the right thing and not fixing it um by removing the content id and protecting it in other means i.e 
oh, I don't know, uh, looking at third-party uh, sources, preventing piracy over on uh, Fangamer or whatever, blah, 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 essentially making sure that the music is protected in other means. They would rather do the, the wrong way of doing this and is like, hey, let's let's abuse the content ID and let's just keep it there and steal money from creators uh, instead of just, you know, removing it. Toby did give a blanket waiver saying, hey, just dispute it. And to to Materia's credit, yes, if you dispute it, I can't, eventually, I say they will fucking, di- they will remove it. The problem is, it's there to begin with, and it shouldn't be. This is why I am all in for a complete overhaul of DMCA law, which apparently it's supposed to be reformed here, or renewed, or changed here in like a year or so. Because uh, of shit like this, shit like this right here. Um, it, it makes no fucking sense that Materia should even be abusing this to begin with. Um, the other part of it is what royalties? Whose royalties? Yours? Yours, Sebastian? Is, is that what you're talking about? Because I don't hear Toby talking about fucking money. And I certainly is as fucking hard as well. The only time I ever hear any creators, myself included, because contrary to popular belief... I make a little bit of money here and there playing these games. Um, the only time money's ever brought up is when your company and many other copyright farms fucking steal that money. Because guess what? You can because uh, it's it's within the DMC li- DMCA law, and unfortunately, YouTube can't intervene because of Section two hundred three or two hundred five, which is a law in the United States that says, "Hey, YouTube is not." held liable or twitch is not held liable or any platform in that matter is not held liable in the event of a lawsuit for copyright because if they were well they wouldn't exist right no instead they have to find ways to work around that and not intervene that has to be left between the creator and the shitty copyright form in this case materia it, it, it's a whole fucking problem really and the other part of it and i mentioned this too as well the biggest issue I have with this is people get really confused with with materia because when they see when new YouTubers and new creators I uh, see this uh, see materia claim the music and they think that they think initially will initially think that Toby is at fault here. I want to make it abundantly clear, and I've had this conversation. Granted, I was a little aggressive with Ruby about it, but I had this conversation with Ruby, and the idea is is that. Toby is not at fault for any of this. This is all fucking Materia is doing. Yes, Undertale and Deltarune is uh, Toby's IP. Yellow is not. Yellow is a completely different de- developer, which Toby has endorsed. The problem <laughs> is in, in, when the situation's like this, and the Yellow's not even the first case of this, the content ID that Materia has is just open gates for fucking uh, <laughs> Materia to abuse and take money from creators. Because, again, I don't believe Materia is a record label. I don't believe it's a publisher. I fully am 100% believing that it's a copyright farm. And this kind of just proves to me even further that this is a copyright farm. This is an abusive fucking copyright farm. If, if there's anything that I could say about this, is if you really want to do the right thing, Sebastian, owner of Materia, copyright farm, Fucking remove the content ID. It's that simple. It's not YouTube's fault that this is broken and that you can take advantage of it and steal money from creators. It's your fault. And the problem is, is you don't want to do the right thing because guess what? Undertale's a pretty big fucking franchise. It's a pretty big fandom too. I wouldn't, if I were I'm in their situation, I too would be stealing money like fucking wildfire because that's really what it is at the end of the day. It's a cash cow IP for material to take advantage of. Toby's not at fault for any of this. I want to make that abundantly clear. But, uh, you know, you can't, you can't fucking uh, fool people. This is clear, abundant, like, uh, justification to you wanting to steal money from creators. And Yellow, while it did use the music to a certain degree, are full within their right to fucking use it and not have you guys fucking sniff sniff around and steal money. Or fucking ridiculous, dude. I'm surprised he hasn't fucking uh, blocked me yet. 
But the reality is, is yeah, fucking do your job, get rid of the content ID, and let people fucking have fun with this shit. You're the fucking problem. Not Toby, not the creators, not me. All on you. So, yeah, I, I've, I've kind of pretty much had a problem with this. I've always had a problem with this. And the thing is, is the reason why I say specifically Materia is a copyright farm is because there has been a few times in the past, and I'm going to have to find this. I actually was looking for it this morning. Um, where I've noticed that Materia has copyright claimed po Pokemon themes as well that they have no fucking rights over. So, I, 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 you know, on top of like Unitaro, La Ator, Arpa CS, CPRA, or CRPA, again, that one in particular changes on a fucking whim because Google's been sniffing on them. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, I have a huge problem with this. I have a very huge problem with this, and Toby doesn't need to make a statement on this. Toby has nothing to do with this, and no, I'm not giving Toby an out because it's Toby fucking Fox. I'm giving the reality check of Toby doesn't need to give an out on uh, an, ex an explanation on this. That's like me saying I'm gonna give a fucking explanation or a statement on behalf of fucking Nintendo, and it being like, you know, Oh, I don't work for Nintendo, but I'm going to give them a statement anyway. It's fucking stupid. It's a retarded fucking statement to have. It's a, it's a really dumb one. It's a really dumb fucking take. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I, I don't want people to get the misconception that Toby is at fault for this. He's not. Uh, the devs at Yellow are not at fault for this at all, either, whatsoever. Um, this is all fucking materia. And, uh, you know, if you ever wonder why I always uh, say that Materia is a copyright farm, this, this is, this is, this is no, this is why. This is why. Because I guarantee you, if it were me in this situation, um, I'd probably be releasing that content ID immediately. This is a, this is ridiculous. This is ab absolutely fucking ridiculous. And the fact of the matter that they're mentioning royalties is another problem. Yes, again, where is that money going to? It's not going, it's obviously going to Toby, a portion of it. It's obviously going to, but what about, where is most of it going? Where is my money that you stole from me going? It's going to this fucker right here. It's going to Sebastian, I'm telling you right now. Anyway, I, I just wanted to get that abundantly clear. I wanted to get that out of the way. I wanted to explain myself a little bit more. Because I, I was asked about this, and uh, yeah, fuck Materia. Absolutely fuck Materia. Wait, is Undertale Yellow being sued? No, no. Nope, it's, it's, it's their copyright farm that uh, steals copyright claiming material. Not Yellow's, but, you know. You get the point. Damn, since when did Flamey become the copyright queen? Since I've been on fucking Twitch for four fucking years and I'm tired of people being fucking thieves. Tired of it. Pieces of shit, anyway. Anyway, welcome back. Why is it always fucking something? So now this copyright stealing all the monies? Well, eh, eh, copyright farms have always been a thing, but material is just the latest fucking cash cow to shit on. Thing is, is I've always fucking hated materia. Uh, I thought I. Uh-huh. Chat, I thought I fucking saved this. Uh-oh.
Okay. <laughs> I, I, I was like, wait a minute. Uh... Alright. <laughs> I was scared. I was like, oh shit, do I have to redo this now? Alright, let's see what's going on here. Welcome to the Honeydew Resort! Please look around. Was that the line? Um, Honeydew heals 14 and it will warm you right up. Yeah, I'll buy that. I appreciate the offer, but my dad would ground me if I bought the items off strangers. Oh, that's what he always told me. I don't buy don't buy items off. <laughs> I love the I love the animations here. You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, cause I'm came off come off as stressed. But you know why that is? I have a theory. See, cause there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work and laundry and uh, imminent starvation and so on. Those are important back home, but here, still important. Monsters pretend they're not, though. And you know what it is? Despicable, irresponsible, shameful behavior. And you know how much part I'll have in it? None. Zip, zero, zilch. And that's how much you should have in it, too. Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. I used to be one of the super fans you hear about. Follow the band around from place to place. Learn all the aliases and used in hotels. Watch them buy their favorite brands of syrup. That's a creepy. I'm reformed now, though. Now I'm content to sit around and listen. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, kid, the getup. I'm guessing you're from the dunes, eh? Wack place, that is. Probably the only other one here that's been around those parts. Some monsters avoid it due to the dryness and the high temperature. What a kid like you doing hanging around with those wild guys, eh? Don't look so confused, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> How's it hanging? The name's Rodney. I'm the leader of our little band here. Travel all around the underground performing for the monsters. The resort is a regular gig. Care to hear the two? Alright, right on dude. This one's a chilly song you can curl up by the fireplace too. Full of honey, ready for drinking. Yum. Nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lounging all day. Uh huh. Oh, okay. We could put our patch in there. Nice. Looks like this bear fell asleep on the Waitrose Resort. It has jars of honey tied to its back. They're getting cold. Oh yeah, honey when it's frozen is really weird. This way to the hot spring. I wish my left hand was so cozy as my right. Normally I'd have two mittens, so the warmth is symmetrical. I think my left mitten is, took a vacation or something. It just left me. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's about right. That's how that works. It's like socks in the washer. They just disappear. Bro, he's fucking tweaking. There's a torch on one side, but not on the other. The feng shui of this place is terrible. You know what? That's kind of how I picture people who are obsessed with feng shui. Hello. Are you enjoying the warm atmosphere only can be brought to a torch? Isn't it pleasant? Isn't it sentimental? Is it attractive? Man, I love being a torch. The water is blocked by the stairs. Oh, I can't go there? That's the hottest spot in Snowden, quite literally. And I've wanted to come here forever and since this is my, finally my chance, it was worth the wait and complete bliss. Swimming is great and full of body workout. Are you seeing these limbs? I've never been so toned. On top of that, I've dropped a whole goggle size. Goggle? Alright, we're gonna go down here. So, I'm guessing... I 
It's so weird that Flowey is like super friendly, but I guess it makes sense. I talked about this yesterday, the, the last time I played this, but it is really uncanny that uh, Flowey is like super nice, but. Okay, I was just guessing how quaint several micro froggets are enjoying themselves on their very own hot spring. One of them even brought micro floaties. And there's sips of its micro coffee and waves at you. Dude, a beautiful, delicious looking golden coffee catches your eye. Take it. Do I even. Have the weight of your soul giving you a speed boost for three turns. So this smells like coffee though. I guess I just found a secret. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh, oh yeah, uh, Flowey. Like, this takes place way before the events of, um, Undertale, right? So I guess it makes sense that Flowey would be, like, super, like, friendly still. And not, like, fake friendly and wanting to fucking murder you because, you know, there's no point in it yet. But he also doesn't see you as a threat, I, Clover as a threat either. Which makes sense because Clover doesn't have the ability to save. Honeydew Resort, family owned and operated. All travelers are welcomed. It, like, it does make sense because, like, Clover doesn't have, like, like I said, he doesn't have the ability to save. He doesn't have determination. Clover just, you know, he, he doesn't have any of that shit. So he's not a threat to Flowey. Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I was extremely lazy, I'd go to Honeydew Resort and get some hot coffee. I already did, bud. Uh-oh. Chat, don't be acting on wise now. Do not... Do not act on wise. Royal Guards thinking they're all special. They don't have screening processes like they used to. Enter the interview with these bozos. You want to be a royal guard? Yes? Here's a uniform. Start Monday. Look at this puzzle. It's a perfectly nice bridge. <laughs> Marcel's like, that ain't Falco, though. Falco Punch! No, I'm kidding. No, last time I played this game, chat was acting unwise about this bird. And then last night, they told me that there's APDO art of this bird. And then I'm just like, okay, please stop. so close. I was so close. I was so close to first trying that. Oh, this is one of those puzzles. What's up, every day? Ten steps to each second sign. Trek Trihecta wobbles forward. They wobble though. You climb it's up the climb trick that try pushes you away from stepping on them. I'm tired of being overlooked. Oh Push? You push all your deck away. I'm tired of being overlooked. Oh, oh. Pull? You pull Tractor towards you. Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> Look, Ma, no TV. Is 
Does anyone hear me? It's like I'm not even talking. Ryder is considering purchasing a long trans coat. Fucking do it, dude. We feel the taste buds burning off. We've covered 14 HP. That's a little loud. There. That's better. Push. Alright, so I kinda I, I figured it out. You kinda need to push them. Okay. Oh my god. I love that. <laughs> That's so adorable. I told you this would happen. Oh, I'm gonna hate doing genocide route in this. I I'm gonna really fucking hate it. Hate it. Uh, no cone comes to see if you are made of fire if you aren't. Educated. Patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. Uh, no cone seems rece receptive. Better help! No, no cone! No cone! Not know this! You good friend to no cone! God damn it! He's a fucking caveman! He's a cave cone. I love him. He's great. I love him. He's great. Take a look inside the barrel and find some coffee beans. Take it. Sure. Coffee bean ammo. Oh, that's right. Clover's the one with the gun. That's that's right. I forget about that. Wait, hold on. Oh shit, it's one of these. Hold on. Oh wait, I get it now, hold on. Bring that up. Yep. Yep. Nope. Close, but no cigar. Ah, there we go. Gotta do that a few more times. Hey! Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> no! A little too much, a little too much love. Come on. There. Oh, there we go. Uh huh. There we go. Nope. Don't you fucking dare. I am on fire. Howdy. We're almost out of here. I'm surprised that you guard you, that guard never saw you nearby, you know? The puzzles sure weren't impressive, that's for certain. Knowing that, I wouldn't worry if you run into them. Whatever happens, I wish you good luck. Thanks, Flowers. A wooden bench. You know it's a fresh pancake <laughs> It's just a uh, fucking random. Yeah, let's take the pancake. <laughs> just a fucking pancake. Okay.
the chat. I'm serious. Don't be acting on wise now. <laughs> don't do it. Don't fucking do it. I'm serious. You're gonna fucking do it. I, I don't. I'm not. No, oh my god. No. Sorry. I don't know where my head was. Right. Why my head was it there? It seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. Oh god. Chat's gonna act unwise. Okay. All right. Nope. Nope. This bird. This fucking bird. Okay. You look a bit lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place like the back of my wing, though. That... That has emo... That face has emo potential. I can get you wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here, but... You're a human, right? I knew it! I, I knew I'd find a human. You must be a human, right? Right? You just, you look like, just like the guy on this poster I saw once. He had a hat, just like you. And he was totally human, so like, transitive property or something like that? Actually, I think that he was from space. Are there, uh, space humans? Oh my god, she's ditzy as fuck. She's ditzy as fuck. Oh god, okay. You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask questions later. Are you ready for some Royal Guard protocol? I hope you are, because I memorized it. Martlet of the Royal Guard has encountered a human. Prepare to be apprehended. Protocol 1. Be courteous and allow your opponent the first attack. Oh boy. All right. Rush, you tap your wrist impatiently. Mart looks apologetic and tries to talk a little faster. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay, I spaced out and messed up like that all the time. I'll let you go again. Mart looks apologetic and tries to talk. Uh, I, I, hold on, I have the guidebook on me. I'll check what to do when someone actually does an attack. I'm not, I'm not gonna attack you, Marlet. Not yet, at least. You can just, uh, take another turn. Go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. No, I'm not. Everything smells like bird seed with a taste of vanilla and orange. Oh my god, this, this fucking game. Okay. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. You fake a yawn. Right, let's start talking faster still. Uh, okay, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best real guard, you know. I'm trying really to be better. Well, last week I apprehended this girl. Total human. Uh, oh, I think it's your turn. Tap your foot on the ground. Martless tries talking even faster. Aha! Royal guards have to proceed the next step without hesitation. Uh oh. That count as hesitation? What? Protocol 2! My attack! Oh! Oh, okay! I have a Tap on your foot on the ground, Marley tries talking even faster. That was only a warm up. Prepare for the Royal Guard Gauntlet. How about. No. Oh, okay. Woo you ignore Mutlet's rambling, it doesn't look like she's noticed. Okay, this is a relatively easy attack. <laughs> As I fuck it up! Martlet looks appalling. Yep, I. Okay. Take this, intruder. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. I should probably heal. 
He has the testicular. Woo! This is a real workout. Keep it up, Martlet. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck! You fake a yard. I'm sorry, are you? Are you trying to fuck with me like this? Um, hold on, I'm checking this one more time. That can't be right, you're not fighting back. And I don't wanna hurt you, you're all cute and stuff. You go on and have your, I have your turn. I'm gonna check the handbook again. See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me per se, but she scolded me and got real aggressive like, what are you on about? I'm not a human. Clear the fetters out of your head. Would you mind being aggressive like her? Come on, get aggressive. I can take it, I swear. Six and stones may break my bones, but words can only make me sad. She doesn't know how to handle this. Insult. You call Marley a weenie. Aw, that was adorable. I don't even feel insulted. I feel like I've been honored. You put so much work into that. We're making this easy here. Here I go. Protocol and all that. The Royal Guard. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, she javeled me. Fuck out of here. Talk about freezing up, huh? All right. You can't laugh because, yeah. Thanks, Flowey. You know what, As Thanks for that. I needed that. I'm gonna eat a fucking black and white cookie now for that. Fuck that. She fucking javeled me. She fucking javeled me. That bitch fucking javeled me. I'm... Matter of fact. A little scatterbrain. Yeah, that's not that's a fucking understatement. Chat just said play me or two scattered right though. Well, I mean, yeah, but like, I'm not that scat. Well, yeah, I kind of am actually. Never mind. No, no, I, I am very scattered brained. You're, you're right. I am more scattered brained than, than I'd like to admit. It's amazing how I've gotten by in life. Oh jeez. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. No, 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 no. Okay, that was actually really easy. It's the fucking Jebel attack that I gotta worry about. Oh! Three SP. Oh, oh! That's actually helpful. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Alright, I, I just... Oh, no.
uh, insult. You forcibly tell Mertley you don't like her clothes. That's more like it. I, what kind of world guard wears rags like these, right? It's not like I stayed up all night sewing them or anything. <laughs> all right, it's my turn. I kind of feel bad for her now, because I'm like, she's like, yeah, be a bitch to me. And it's like, I, I really don't want to be a bitch to her now. Especially if she made the clothes herself. You insult Martlet's job performance. I have to say, you're not wrong about that one. Ooh, hitting it where it hurts. Ouch. Kind of been on probation for a while. One more messed up and I could say goodbye to the world guard dumb. All the, and all the nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniforms, my royal guard discount at the movies, my nice insurance rates. Oh shit, they're pulling an America on her. When they find out how much I hesitated, I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. I got it. <laughs> the royal guard doesn't know you're here. They won't know I broke protocol. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them see you. You'll be at home in no time in, in time for dinner. I mean, maybe not today's dinner, but sure, dinner! Anyway, we'll pass by the royal guard and plead your case to Adgord. There's no way he can say no to a cute, cute little face like yours. Meet me up ahead and I'll show you the way to get my home. She pulled a fucking javel on me. Great, great job once again. I hate that so many monsters are ruthlessly attacking you. But you're handling it with grace. I'm not sure I trust this one. Lucky for us, she doesn't seem to be too put together. We can ditch her as soon as she messes something up. Ah, uh, that's the flowey that I know. That's the flowey that I know. Hey chat, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go grab my, like, my HRT meds, so I'll be right back. It's about that time. Alrighty, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Yeah, sorry chat, I try to get, I try to get those in before midnight. That's like only 10 o'clock, but still. Hey there, so here's the plan. I'm sorry I think I went a little overboard, but I can't help it. This is all too exciting. So, I've been saving this for a rainy day. You know, figuratively, we don't really have those... Either way, behold, the UG Aviator. Oh, is it supposed to be like the underground aviator? In the water sits an old-looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Boats are she's, you know. I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? A uh, okay, Martlet, I swear to God. Mart. Mart. Can I just call you Mart? Why Why you gotta be so fucking wholesome? God damn. My map and memory serve this. The river should lead us directly to the hotland. From there, it's a hop, skip, and a leap to Asquith's castle. I'm not sure how we're getting in, but... We cross that bridge when we come to it, right? I also want to apologize about, well, you know, attacking you. I meant no harm. Honest, I just have to do my job is all. And well, oftentimes I don't know what the right action is until it's too late. So, I know we just met and all. Will you trust me well in this? Yay! Don't worry. Trust is in good hands, or wings, as the case may be. I'll guard it with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting! I mean, nothing as exciting ever happens around here. At least while I've been here, it hasn't. Think of all the fun we'll have. I mean, there's a chance I might be fired for this. I lose all my life to work, but it belongs my hay. What's life without a little risk? So, shall we be off then? Let's go. I like the little rug that she has. I like the little rug that she has in there. Oh. Wait, hold on. I was supposed to be on the... Oh, okay. She's going to fly on top of it.
So, hi! So I was thinking... If Ava doesn't have sails, does this still count as sailing? I mean, it's possible. I mean, it's moving. Pretty smooth ride, yeah? My woodworking skills aren't too shabby. Oh my god, Smug Mart is fucking amazing. That is... That's an emo. <laughs> Probably. Older fellow by the name of Chujin taught me everything. Well, he well... Never mind. Hey! So, would you mind answering a few questions for me? It's not the big, it's just a little quality assurance questionnaire. Will you try it? Sure. Great! Question one. On a scale from one to three, how would you rate your encounter with the Royal Guard? Please answer honestly. Wait, really? I got a three! I never got a three before. Oh my goodly goodness, I can't believe it, I got a three! I have to tell absolutely everyone. Okay, sorry, got carried away. You're fine. If I give you anything less, chat would scream at me. Let's keep going. One to two, how would you rate the puzzles to Flight and Snow Day? A two. Really? Thanks, I made them myself. There's a reason I was assigned to work under the Royal Scientist. I mean, because I'll get the last choice, but station, uh, but still. You picked up a few things guarding all that science stuff. Anyway, back on topic. One to four, how would you rate the auditory ambient? What does that mean? Okay, that's a new question. Why do they keep updating this? Let's just forget the questionnaire. I give it a, f I honestly give it a four because it's really nice. Yeah, two point at 23 and we're done. Oh, one more thing. I'm gonna need your name for legal purposes. You know how it gets, it's Clover. What a unique name, I love it. So Clover, let's talk about Ava. Isn't she great? I told you, sails like a dream from the perfect lullaby. Nice pace, pretty view. It's like not a single link. Oh, well, there's a little one, but not too many leaks. We can just sit back, relax, and hey, do you hear an abnormal amount of running water? Well, we are in a waterfall. I was just the river getting faster. Uh, well, if there's... We're going to waterfall. <laughs> um, I might not have been th down this route before. Hold on, it's, it's something. Hey, look, it's the hot land. This is our stop. Wait, we have to dock here. Slow down. We're gonna fall in, uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Rip Ava. Hello? Clover? Are you okay? Oh, no, 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 no. Stay right there. I'll go get help. Oof. Potato bearing a strange symbol. The lid is bolted shut. It's impossible to open. The waterlogged remains of an old chest. You spy a small, dirty, dry paper. Will you take it? You got some trail mix. Oh, nice. Okay, I, uh... Howdy, Clover! What day has this been? Thanks to that guard, we're totally off course. Looks like she ditched you as well. I guess it can't be helped now. There's gotta be another route to Asgore's castle here. There's the flowey that I know. There's the soulless Azrael that I know. Little shit, little shit gremlin, manipulative shit gremlin right there. Top it out for now, we'll see where this new path takes us. A little excitement never hurt anyone. Well, except you. Let me heal you up. Thanks, Flowey. You can't have no idea how this came to be. Some hefty boxes lie in the dirt. They seem to have been in here for a long time. Northern caverns up ahead. So 
the West Mines. Property of Mining Co. Ooh, I love this music! Underground desert, huh? You know what? I fuck with it! Dune Bud popped out of the sand. Hi, Dune Bud. You look like a dork. You shake Dune Bud back and forth. They giggle at you. Ah, wah, 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 wah. I loved. Uh, okay. Dune Bud, please. Oh, I. Oh, 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 Dune Bud, please. Please. I thought you were making me a little house. Give Dune Bud a few loving pats. They nuzzle your hand. <laughs> But please. He is giggling. Okay, so oh, oh my god, I love Doombud. I love Doombud. He's so fucking cute. I wanna hug him. Hello. Whale mail. That's fine, because you know what time it is. Mail time, mail time. Truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. Thanks, whale mail. If you're re reading this, it, it means you had a pleasure of meeting me. I'll make this snappy. You're not gonna believe it. I'm selling a new premium product for half off. You know what they're saying? Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's Mo! I love Mo! He sells me all the good shit. Alert, warning sign ahead. Warning, danger sign ahead. And now she's fucking dead. How careless. Well, there's always next time. Thanks. Welcome back. Thanks, Flowey. Sorry, by the way. It won't happen again. Maybe. I think Flowey is just waiting for me to die. Does Clover die in this game? I wonder. Like genuinely, I'm curious. I, I don't spoil it for me, chat. But like, I'm. But I am curious as to how he, uh, how they die. I can run away, right? Yeah. Duh. Okay, I don't have to deal with both of them, thankfully. Get that? Really? You know, it was worth it. I'm not up to anything suspicious, okay? There's just no treasure behind this wall, okay? Don't rat me out, okay? Paint is still wet. 
my TNT, okay? I did steal from the mines, brother at the, my brother at the mines, okay? <laughs> this, this X was here before I arrived, okay? <laughs> Why is that funny to me? I'm just waiting for, for the storm, okay? Get off my case. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I was hoping he fucking said okay. No, 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 no. I can't stand the sandstorm. Oh, bro, you, you are like literally saving my life right now. M brother doesn't even know he's like saving my life right now. I want to go back over there, but fuck it, there's... Oh my god, that dude's face. So hot. Oh, don't make me go all the way back. Okay, at least you didn't make me go all the way back. go this way I'm gonna block here I love his face I love his facial reaction yeah, can I just turn this off off yeah howdy strange sight huh who knew something that like, we could actually grow here anyway great job so far this place is much more treacherous than Snowden keep it up Clover Thanks, Bowie. The hell is this? My favorite fucking raccoon, baby! Bam! Guess who it is? That's right, baby, it's Mo! Long time no see! How you been? Don't answer that. We don't have the time. Give me your money. Give me your fucking money. Now! I'm here to make you a brand new offer! Hot climate calls for a hot item. Hot, baby, hot! Check it! That's right! But when all out this time, this is a real delicacy around here. Called water. Catchy name. I know. It's like a, it's like it's a fucking existent. But give me your fucking money. Lucky for you, kiddo. I'm giving out free samples. And by free, I mean give me one gold. You want a glass? Coming right up. One moment. If you know, you know, boy, Mo. Oh, wait. If you know your boy, Mo, you know I planned all of it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Here's my real product. Ice tea. It's like a single to water. Way better. So much better. Now, I'm going to be real with you. The tea doesn't have ice in it, particularly. Started as a glass of ice, but that melted. All I had to do was throw a tea bag in there and wham! It's fucking tea! Don't worry, it tastes better this way. Here's what I got. Mmm. Look at that iced tea. Great choice, drink up! I love you. I, I fucking love you. I love you so much, Mo. You literally are like, just just take all my money, you fuck. Is 
Sir Slither has a proposition. Real. You buy in, you buy in a Slither's fancy word. Something feels off. Yes, we're gonna go far, you and me. Just the lost access to his bank account. Wait, wait. He wonders if he could borrow yours. Challenge. You asked Sir Slither just what he can help you with. Oh, this and that. Odds and ends, you know? Fucking asshole. Scammed me out of my life? He's not like Mo. Mo would never scam me out of my life. Dying sucks, right? Right. Mo would never scam me out of my money. Sir Slither, on the other hand. Horse fight, exactly, chat. Yeah, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do this again because I can really use that tea. He's smooth as fuck. I love him. I love Mo. My boy is fucking is fucking preem. I love I love Mo so much. I love Mo. I really do. <laughs> I'm gonna catch fire if, it stays, if I stay out here too long. Hey, you're fine, Flowey. You are fine. I, I don't think you're gonna die. Doubt. He step away from Sir Slither. He seems displeased. Come on, mate. Don't leave me out to dry. I'm, I'm very much leaving you out to dry, you fucking... I can help you climb out of your rut if I can. No, you're, no, you can't. I'm gonna die. Yep. Bro, this fucking, this boss, I mean, this monster in particular is a fucking nut bitch. Where God? You can trust me, swear on me, mum. Chat, remember, if a snake tells you you could, they can trust you. Swear on their mom. Oh my God. I, I have to learn this fucking this monster. That's like a hundred percent trolling him since you swear on him. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking monster is pissing me off. Oh my fucking god. This monster is pissing me the fuck off. Yes, Flowey, I know. Oh 
Oh my god. So do I have to continue challenging him? I'm an excellent traveler, Canadian. I am. Oh yeah? How good are you really? Oh my god, I just have to hit the corner? Oh, this and that. Okay. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. Bro, I swear, you need to like... Oh. Oh my god, thank you. What was that about? I guess I won't know. Oh. Oh, it's one of these. Got it. Oh! Like, there's a small fucking window. <laughs> Fuck! Alright, I got it. I got out. Uh, Cackney shares this painting. Oh, fucking. You give Cackney a careful pat between the two spines. Does this mean you care about me? Yes, Cackney. Yes. Yes, I. Oh, oh my fucking god. Feels love for the first time. I love you, Cackney. Cackney, I swear I love you. Uh, oh. Pat the cactus. <laughs> That's how it works around here, chat. We pat the fucking cactus. And it's personal. You notice a discarded belt between the buckle. Take it? Yeah. Uh oh, armor. I need that actually. Your pants feel sturdier than ever. Okay, but in all seriousness though, can I have a save point? As a slime, I'm outraged. Why? How, how, how am I gonna get to the station now? The elevator door is jammed. A man jammed! What? What could fix it? I don't have anything that can fix it. Right? Case of conveyor bill, it ceases to work. Fix it. Gold uh, conveyor selling rocks and gyps to a sorting machine. Large dirty sticker can be seen on the side. Assembled by Steamworks, Engineers 20XX. What can I do for you, friend? Oh, fiddlesticks. I've seen a few pickles in my day, and this is certainly one of them. 
tell you what. I'll give you my trusty pickaxe here if you know. Winter Monster Trivia Game. Oh boy, this will be fun. All you have to do is answer these three questions correctly. You only get one try, so do your best. Question one. Who is the current royal scientist? Choose the correct answer. Alphys, Asgore, Dr. Science? It's jammed again. I swear, nothing ever works here. I'm busy, kid. I hear Flowey's theme a little bit in the motif. Okay, but where's the stairs? Chat, do you see stairs? You got some flint. People falling rocks, what an inconvenience. So if we burn it to the ground. Can't think of a way this will work. What do you mean it should work? I'll let you let my pick as for price. I'll just throw you some. When whack when you have the G. I... to sell you sell G or mm. I really use that G right now <laughs> I need a monster, it's stat. Game, I need a fucking monster. Mo, Mo, boy. Mo, why would you betray me like this? I need money. My boy Mo fucking betrayed me. <laughs> That's okay, I still love him. Uh, this gotta be a monster. Yep, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. was unintentional. Swoop swap. Flip flop. Oh! Yeah, they're not. They're not doing any damage on me now. I love this. Like, literally, it's just one health. It's nice. It's nice.
How much gold was that? Just enough. again. I think we can make it. No, nope, we can only make it to the th second one. I fuck you. Come on. Those are opening. Okay, perfect. I got a sp I have a spare. Thanks, fuckface. Appreciate it. Reminds me of like a sable eye with those gems. Pickaxe broke. Dude is mad fucking paranoid right now. Oh, dude is mad paranoid. You know, the last time I was in an elevator in an Undertale game, that didn't really end so well. I'm just saying. <laughs> he fucking scooted off! <laughs> Case of water swim. Yeah, whatever. Golly, the emblems on these miners' uniforms are very interesting. Get some the boss around here. Jokes aside, get some smarts. Fix that elevator with ease. How do ya? Thanks, uh, 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 Plowy. Jesus, you have so many names, man. Bowl. Charge is near you. Taunt. No, I'm practically made of steel. Ole! You asked Bowl to open up a beach anyone with you. But I I am tough. Are you really though? My brother in Christ, are you a hot chocolate? He's cool the way he is. Really? You mean it? Yeah, you're, you're, you're great, bud. You're throwing marshmallows in your hot chocolate. Honestly, that's, that's honestly the only way to drink hot chocolate. I can't even... I can't even really lie. Also, that's... Oh, hey, Toby. I see you in there. Use your and a wet boy some mud on bowl. He sparkles. Didn't know I could reflect so much. Thank you. Just in time, I'm sure you noticed all these mining mumbo jumbos lying around. Well, corporate said we have to solve the puzzles as we work, exercise the old noggin. They even made the foreman lock the door until the work's done. Pretty unnecessary if you ask me. Seeing as I'm on my permanent smoke break, could you solve it for me? Cigarettes are bad.
path has been opened. Nice. A lonesome safety jacket hangs on the wall. Take it. Stats. Uh, defense is 17. I mean, it's not really going to help. It's less than what I have right now. I have to tell the foreman. He'll fire me, I'm sure, but it's my fault. I would go tell him right now, but I lost my hat as well. It's just not my day. Here. You, you found my hat. You're a kind soul. I don't have anything to give you. But I'm eternally grateful. You got eternal gratitude. Can I get a prayer too? That'd be great. Oh, oh no. Oh no, <laughs> fuck. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, fuck off! <laughs> it's so bullshit. UGPS logo on the crates. More than letters. I mean, I would uh, hope so. I just adored mining. Mine, 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 day and night. Gonna find a whole bunch of sparkly gems. Hello there. My name is Angie. I'm the receptionist of Mining Co. How may I help you? Yes, I'm aware of the dangers that lie outside the mines. I could investigate, but my husband, Gilbert, he needs, needs to take more initiative. I asked him to do it. See, uh, let's see, six hours ago. Uh, baby steps. Anyways. See around, see, see around the dunes. I hope it isn't. It's about just pulling pranks. Oh. Gilbert, please. We've been married 27 years. You can handle the other questions yourself. Certainly, dear. Ahem. <clears throat> if you're gonna ask about the hot conditions, I'm ordering more glacial storm cold packs today. If you're gonna ask about the falling rocks, I'm gonna go investigate it soon. No need to worry, everything's fine. Hiring? Someone isn't doing their job correctly. Well, I never. Is there a for good slap on the wrist? They, they, with that they do. One more mistake and I might put them in the timeout corner. I'll uh, send Angie down to confront them. You won't fire them, will you? Of course not. The only monster I ever fired was the health inspector. Fired him before he arrived. I like this man. I like how he runs his company. You don't fire people and you fucking fire the house inspector. I like this man. <laughs> health inspector? I don't know him. Howdy. This cave sure is uh, ginormous. Minecart. Hop in? Yeah, let's go. Oh. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is very pretty. Hey, thanks for saving me back there. I can see I didn't place at a higher elevation. Bless your soul, man. You ain't getting fired. <laughs> You're gonna go be put in the timeout count. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, fuck me in the ass. Okay. Um.
Is this it, right? I think that's how it's gonna go. Yeah, that's exactly how it's gonna go. Okay. Uh, triangle. You. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yep, that's Flowey's theme. That definitely is Flowey's theme. Gonna go up here, go up here, go here. No. There, go there. It's not gonna connect there. Okay, they want me to use the, the, the ends. Okay, so we just do this. Right? And yeah, there we go. So this should go like this. Nope. Nope, it's gonna get mad at me. There we go. Now it should. My bad, technicalities. Forgot those were a thing. Okay, bring that there. And then... There we go, okay. Boom! Boom, baby! Done! <laughs> what the hell is this? Basketball court? The stale fruit cake sits in the mining bucket left over from the mining party. Take it. I like fruit cake. Hello, visitor. Did you venture through the whole mine? What a journey. For your travels, I'll let you in on a little secret. You see, we aren't mining for gemstones at all. Those things everywhere are practically worthless. We're actually mining for metals like this in front of me. They're used for building materials around the underground, you see. They're also very... You saw nothing? He ate. Okay. Uh, all right. Fair enough. I saw nothing. You're you're absolutely. You know what? Oh, it's Flint. Nope. He's he's right, chat. I saw nothing. He's so fucking right. I I saw nothing. We'll do like another hour of this. Howdy. Gee, would you look at that? I can almost see the King's Castle from here. Asgore. Monsters shower him with praise, but it's totally overblown. See, here's what they call, he's what they call a boss monster. 
Meaning he has a special trait. More power than the others. When you take him down, his soul will stay intact, but only for a moment before. Boom! You win. I've heard the guy's immortal too. Can't age a second. At least not anymore. Wild, huh? Boss monsters know how to cling for life. To life, that's for sure. Hey, don't let all that info scare ya. Immortal doesn't mean invincible. And still, a human soul is more powerful than a boss monster's soul. Asgore may seem intimidating, but it's all show. Deep down, he's afraid of you, a true pushover. Anyway, just thought I'd prepare my pal for what's to come. You want me to kill- I, I know what he wants- I know what Flowey wants me to do. I, I know exactly what he wants me to do to him. Flowey knows all too well. There's the underground. It's so weird that there's a sun here. What's that noise? Oh! I am Belador! Belador! I have tasked myself with confrontation! There is much too quiet, much too dreary. You make no noise when you move. You lack rhythm, feeling, fervor. If I did not know any better, I might have mistaken you for a sentinel of silence. No, no, this will not do. You must prove to me that you have what it takes. What it takes to live a life of richness. I challenge you to dance. To truly find oneself, they must ignite the passion within. Let us do that. I want to see spirit of fire. One and a two and a... It's time to dance. El Bailador. I love him. I love him so much. Twirl, you clumsily spin around. El Bailador precedes the effort. Ah, that was much too simple. Let us try this. This game gives, gives Lisa the pain while I fix it. It's all the funny. <laughs> yeah. El Bailador likes his motivating pose. Yeah, he is cool, isn't he? Appreciates the effort. Heating up! Ooh. It's a rhythm game. The sound of a thousand trumpets echo around you. Oh, it's fucking Hoenn! You begin to enjoy yourself a little greater. It smiles back. The passion! It grows! Yes, this is what I live for! Oh my god, this is gonna be awful! This is gonna be really hard! It flexes his huge muscles. Oh, the lights are showing what his pattern's gonna be! A life without dance is empty, I say! I'm sorry that my rhythm skills are bad. Others say the dance can also take life away. I do not see what they mean. Well, I certainly see what they mean. Oh, jeez, fucking Christ. 
smells like disco. A world of solitude and silence that is not for me. The underground is too much, much too depressing, you see. Oh my god, I can't do this. All the flashing lights make you dizzy. I, I... We are trapped within this barrier free with no hope of freedom. Sad, sad situation. But it's not it is not sad for I. Yeah, this is this game's like... Stop dancing, Luke. This upsets him. We must do what we must have. Find time for activities that make us happy. Oops. Oops! Well, we talk about over the top. Let's show, show off who's boss. Bowie, I love you. You know how to fucking bring uh, emotion in this. I mean, at least he's not being a fucking cunt about it this time. Okay, I'm getting better. <laughs> getting better! Never mind, not getting better, getting worse. It smells like disco. I really feel like I'm just like warrior wearing this shit at the moment. You know, never played. Never played warrior wear, but hey, feels like it. Don't let's say that the I I exact I know exactly what they mean, uh fuck face. Fucking Christ, dude, can you like... No, you're not gonna... No, he's not gonna, he's not gonna give me a, he's not gonna give me a fucking chill down. We must make do with what we have! I time for activities to make us happy. I am outgoing because of happiness. It is not like quiet to virtue. I often encourage monsters and hope that it is contagious. Dude, you're, you're a pain in my ass. I want you to know this. Like this is huge muscles. I swear. Even if must and kind is cursed to this grim state, we must stick it out to the end. All the way up to the finale! I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking, I hate this fucking fight! Shut up, Flowey.
Alright. I think I think that's the last uh, dialogue. I'm hoping it is. Yeah, it's this game's version of. Uh... Of uh, Undyne. I, I I don't know. That kind of makes sense though, because the Undyne's a pain in the ass to fight too. So. I mean, yeah, I, I, yeah, okay, it makes sense. Dude is giving me Ajita. I'm gonna start being seeing RGB everywhere, man. I'm gonna fucking start seeing this shit everywhere. Start seeing it in my fucking dreams. <laughs> Oh my god, fuck off. I mean, at least I'm getting a little bit further. Motherfucker. <laughs> Please be the finale. Oh, oh my god, I lived up two health. fight. Not yet. I'll kill him later. He deserves it. Out of all of them, he fucking deserves it. <laughs> this is a fucking ending, dude. <laughs> I love that. That was great. How do you hate the wrestler dancer? I don't hate him. That finale fucking caught me off guard. I really thought that was that last bit wasn't the finale. Or was the finale, but no, it was one more part of it. It was an encore. I love him. He's he just goddamn. <laughs> this shit caught me off guard. <laughs> Alright, 
I think we're good. We can live one more time. One more. All right, maybe I should use the health now. I mean, I don't blame, I don't blame Clover. Morning. Hey, Rubes. Good morning. Trying, Flowey. Flowey. This fucker doesn't know when to stop. Like, you look at this fucker, you tell me he doesn't snort at all. Why? Why am I so impatient? Not that hard for me to not be that impatient. I just, I, I. <laughs> All right, come on. How'd you sleep, Roops? Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing all right. You slept fine? That was a relatively short sleep. Did you just like fall asleep during the stream and you're just like, I was like, I'm gonna leave her on and then I'm just gonna pass out. Am I that fucking soothing? I hope I'm not. I really hope I'm not that soothing. I passed out an insomnia moment. Oh, dude, you need to, like, get that fixed. I'm trying. Try harder. Jeez, here we go. Fuck! I was almost there! Suck my fucking girl nuts! 
what? What? <laughs> Oh my god. That's <laughs> I really want to fucking shoot this fucker. Yeah, <laughs> Clover's just like touching this fucking gun like, oh come on, I really want to fucking do it. And the subconscious soul in the background is like, no, don't do it, don't do it, just, just play along. And it's like, it's so fucking tempting. Shoot this motherfucker like it's the yellow. <laughs> God damn it! It's not funny. Kinda is though, but not really. Kino says, do not commit a felony, please. I'm trying not to, okay? But I'm looking at that gun icon, and I think, hmm, should I commit the murder today? Yes! And then the other part of me is like, hey, listen, don't do it. commit the felony and I create a murder. <laughs> you know, thank god this dude isn't randomized. At least it's predictable. Actually, I think it might actually be randomized because I don't remember that pattern. You know, I'm gonna take you know, I'm gonna take a book out of Ruby's a book and say I'm trying, okay? It is not an easy task. Mm. Ruby says melatonin is hard to get in the UK. Ruby, I have a fuck ton of bottles. If you want, I can try and ship you some. My mom has given me so much melatonin. It's not even funny. <laughs> I have like the gummy kind, the pill kind, the liquid kind, the type you shove up your ass. Wait, that's Seroquel. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I don't take Seroquel. I only know about liquid Seroquel, the needle kind, because my sister had told me a story about how she had to shove it up someone's uh, cheek, ass cheek, and get them to fucking calm down. Not a fun time. It would be funny to do so, but you came so far doing pacifist, and you could shove melatonin in your ass. Chat, chat, chat. There is a shot version of Seroquel that you can actually, like, that, that people use to like put people like who are mentally unwell in like who are in crazy town asleep. It's a restricted drug in the UK. Oh, so what I'm hearing is I could get Interpol on my ass because of customs.
All right, answer poll. Shove it up my ass. Please, no more. No more. Okay, thank God. <laughs> huh. Huh. You have proven your passion, little one. I apologize if the dance was strenuous to your health. Sometimes, having fun means having a few doctor's visits. However, it, it seems that you do not have to love, uh, love dance as much as I. Perhaps you find happiness through other means. I have never considered for quiet monsters such as you. Ah, uh, well, at least I hope your day has been brightened. I wish you a fulfilling journey. Farewell! Thank you. Hail, Bolinardo. As I live on, like, one health, pick up the dimensional satchel. The dimensional satchel. Ruby, I don't mind fucking having Interpol get on my ass. If Why is Melton such a restricted drug, if you mind me asking? Playground? Ah, yeah, this playground used to be fun. Ever since the playmates stopped showing up, it's been become boring. I wonder where they went. Pedla approaches from the flower, offering you a flower. Accept. Here you go. I. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. I love Pedla. A lot of these monster de uh, monster designs are really good. You can become dependent on it to sleep. This is also true. Yeah, you're right. That's that's true. Gee, looks like we're on getting close to an exit from this place. Aside from those mines, this time has been pretty friendly to us. Should be a simple journey from here on- Clover? Right. Clover! You're alive! You're here. You're here. I can't believe myself! I left you all alone in that cave! You had to brave the dunes by yourself? I'm a horrible friend. They trust me to be a real guy, and I left a child for dead! Like, what is wrong with me? I, yeah, thank you. You're clearly able to take care of yourself. The crash just happened so fast. When I happened, when I, there. When I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the sandy landscape and found this town. And I still realized that I couldn't risk getting other monsters involved. And they might have questioned me and I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned into uh, more sinister royal guards. So I uh, sat by a cactus for an hour thinking oh, what a piece of garbage I am. <laughs> uh, why, am I, why am I like this? And then I got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but here we were. So deeply sorry. Thank you, Clover. You're very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I said that I won't leave you at your side now. I'll still follow you wherever you lead. You, you just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I'd understand if you need a rest for a bit. You want to hang around? That's great. I didn't get the sights yet at all on the way over here. Well then, friend, shall we be off? And when I got, uh, as such the other week, you get it, it's a prescription, and when you try it, and I tried to get a prescription, they were like, what, you try these herbal shits, which actually doesn't work. Oh. Well, here, it's like over-the-counter crap. Like, you could literally just grab it over-the-counter. I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. The air pressure seems to have been tampered, but there's something. Is there any the stable doubles as the AC? That ain't good news. Spend 3G to play? Oh no. 
It's Mew Mew. Mew Mew Love Blaster. <laughs> I play. Avoid sadness. Spread the joy. You don't have to tell me. Oh shit! I'm gonna. I'm bad at this. <laughs> Okay, I can see why Alfie's might like this character. Here, let's try it one more time. Mew Mew Love Blaster! Mew Mew Love Blaster! Never again, chat. Out of order, please stop feeding it money. <laughs> Yo, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a gaming sesh. Oh, you're a kid like me. I bet you're real good at these machines. It's me, I'm the owner. Have you ever given up your life on being a regular and experienced monsterism? Oh my god. My, my fucking stomach. Be interested in hearing your fortune told. Only 5G per fortune. Now... Especially could be correct. I'm selling tiny fortunes. Sure. See what the world has in store for you. Hmm. Oh dear. The future seems to indicate you're in for a tumble. Oh no, it looks like a big one too. It will happen very soon. Hang on. Oh, tumbleweed. I guess I got a little excited to miss the second that second part. Sorry for the scare. It looks like everything is fine after all. I I, I fucking highly doubt it, given the indications of after under during Undertale. Are you? Let's say you haven't seen your face around these parts. Uh, I've to grow. Okay. There's just a door there. Got 30G in one of those paints pockets. Take it. I'm gonna take it. Why wouldn't I? This monster is too busy quenching my thirst as we speak. A reflection of the eight. Free hugs. Hey, dude. I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it. You already my son, didn't you? I hate myself. Nah, come here, bro. I want to give you a hug. Bake sale, bake sale. Come eat food made by spiders. Four spiders, four of spiders. Yes. And more squish. Have a nice day. I'm closing shop, okay? This was a dumb idea. Even if you did hug me, which it would be sick, I'd probably kill you. Not intentionally, of course, but it'd be a crime, and I hate crime. Oh, great. You might be a criminal. Now you definitely won't hug me. Just walk away. It would be better for the both of us. Don't want a hug? Bro, you need to learn when to let go. <laughs> if you won't leave me alone, the hugs are no longer free. In fact, they're very expensive hugs. Whatever amount of money you're owed, they're like triple that. That's honestly not sorry. Okay, I kinda still want a hug. But I'm in I'm in this way too deep. Ignore my existence, please. Bro, I wanna give you a hug. Give me let me give you give me give you a hug! Fucker! I care! Fuck piece of shit. Love you though. Sapling sits. Oh, oh, hey, Clover. Remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? That's her. That's not a human. Mark, Mark, that's, that's not a human. You still think I'm your cap- Did your captain explain to you I'm not a human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I just thought you- No, no, no. I'm sorry. I just get it often. It's totally fine. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. 
Not that you're a grumpy monster. I'm just, you're very sure you're very nice. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, what's your name? Not, no, not you, silly. Her. Actually, how about Red? I, uh, I'm sorry. What? Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. What? You mean like? You mean like this, Red? You mean like? You mean like this, Red? Like the pe most powerful fucking royal guard ever in Undertale mod history. That red. Chat's like, yo, it's that woman from that mod. Yeah, it is. I think it is. I think it fucking is. Yo. <laughs> That's what your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. To be honest, I hope that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and it'd stop. We need to explore that fucking... We need to explore that fucking mod. One day. It might just be wiser to join the guard at this point. That would be fantastic. I'm glad to show you the ropes on my job. You could even help me build puzzles. That might be a code violation now that I think about it. But, uh, it's fine. What? I can't be that easy to get in. I mean, they let me join. Well, figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to, but I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh, you're serious. <laughs> I mean, sure. Sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya. I can't believe they actually added her as a, as a character in this game. That's awesome. I love when game mod mods or even mod games or fan games do that shit. Where they add things from other like mods and shit into it. It's really cool. Thanks, whale mail. Alright, uh, toast here. Uh, someone, there's someone in the wild that we forgot to warn you about. The scruffy fella with the blue hat. Don't act with him or support his endeavors. I won't tell you why, because this letter... Oh. Alright, okay, that cactus be acting unwise. Sorry, buddy. This path is blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Girl boss behavior. I fucking love her. Oh, Flowers just acting like. Well, well, wow! Well, what do we have here? I left all my G at home. Hmm. I wish that Clover will make it back home safely. Now you have me and a wish on your side. We're gonna stop here. So I want to say thank you for watching. We'll be back with more Undertale Yellow for sure.